So if you take a look at the user interface for Neutron as opposed to Ozone, Neutron is a channel strip tool that's used primarily in the context of a mixing session on individual channels or on buses. And then Ozone is a tool that's designed for the task of mastering. It can sit on the stereo bus or the two mix out of a mixing session. The EQ in Ozone and Neutron is largely the same. There are some slightly different filter shapes. There's a difference in terms of numbers of nodes and, and so on. But the bigger difference between the two is in the scale, at least in the way that the tools are initially laid out. If you take a look at Neutron, you'll see that the dB boost and cut in the default setting is a much uh, bigger scale. In other words, if you move a control a few pixels up or down, you'll get a much bigger change than you do in Ozone. And that reflects the sort of natural workflow, if you will, that if you're EQing a tambourine track in a mixing session, you might want to cut all the low end out. And so a big, giant, low frequency gesture makes sense. In Ozone, a little bit goes a long way. And so the tool is laid out to help you navigate the task in a way that I think supports the activity. So I think that that is really the thing that differentiates the tools. And EQ is an EQ is an EQ. There may be some subtle differences, but when you're practicing and just trying to get better, at the mastering task. Don't get too distracted by, does this EQ sound better than another? Maybe try to grab something that's laid out to help you with the activity that you're engaged in and use that to practice.